Hey guys, it's Daniel. So, uh, showing off this little package I put together for somebody here. <clears throat> so, uh, this is, uh, this is pretty much the completed deal here. This is what somebody's gonna be lucky enough to walk home with. Actually, no, I'm gonna send it to their house. Alright, so here's what we got. <clears throat> We've got the Valken M17. And this puppy is modified all the way. So, we've got a SHP Ninja Tank. It does have the custom graffiti to match the purple barrel, which you can hardly see. Like, it, it's very subdued. It's not out of the way. Um, if you... If you do not want the graffiti tank, um, if you do not want the graffiti tank and you do not want the purple barrel, I can swap that out for a another black tank and a black barrel. It will also be a 683 barrel. Um, however, the, the other tank would not be an SHP, um, but I'll gladly do two of the standards if you don't want the purple and uh and get rid of the purple barrel or you know either combination whatever um have an extra regulator cap um you shouldn't need this because <laughs> you, you shouldn't touch this <laughs> this is this is this is where it needs to be i i would never ever ever try to turn this up anymore um, absolutely not. This is the little piece that goes under here that helps stabilize this thing. I think this is responsible for blowing a lot of people's rig caps. Uh, I'm going to send you some O-rings. I'm actually going to send you more than just these. Um, any other things that I find in the box or whatever that, that I've not put on here that's for the M17, I'm going to send with it. Uh, caps for the, uh, red dot. Now, if you would rather have, if you would rather have a holographic, a cheap holographic instead, I can do that. I can swap, I can swap those two out. Um, what I did, I went ahead and fine-tuned it. Um, this swivels, by the way. Um, I went ahead and fine-tuned it to um, the, the siding, and I went ahead and co-witnessed uh, the iron sights so so these are actually co-witnessed with this um, these are gonna hit just it's gonna hit just a little bit lower with the uh, with the iron sights don't have quite the amount of adjustment I need to, to completely get it perfect with those uh, windage will be dead on and I mean I'm talking about two inches low at 30 feet uh, on the iron sights um, so if for some reason you're uh, you're uh, red dot goes out and you have to do the uh, you know flip up your iron sights it will be sighted in just aim about two inches higher than what you would have been aiming um the factory four end i'm going to send that uh unless you just tell me you don't want it, it i can just throw it away it's junk you'll never want to use it it's crap honestly um factory barrel uh definitely gonna send you that um that way, um, if you do want to, um, uh, like shoot any of the, like, uh, you know, uh, like the Grimberg, like the Jewel V2s or the HP 68s, you know, they are, um, they're bigger than this barrel. Um, so you can shoot them through that barrel. Um, and then I'm also including this, uh, flash hider, <laughs> flash, right? You know, bird cage style. Um, uh, so if you don't want to leave it this long, make sure I'm still filming where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Um, if you, if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to leave it this long, if you don't want to go for, and actually I, the reason I've got this back a little bit, number one, it's better, better, uh, grip back that way or better, um, better pull length. Um, but the other reason I put that back here is so that you can actually detach this front part here with these take this completely off and you can take this mock suppressor off and you can put this on 
And then you basically, okay, so you don't have that much hand guard and you've just got this little, like that sticking out. So if you want to go with a uh, CQB type of setup, that's all, you know, it's, it's included. You can change it out however you want to. So you got, you know, you got different options with that. Um, I, I like it like this with, this is how like, I like a, a, a real AR. Um, so I, that's why I like this setup. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can knock off what five, five, five inches or so. Um, well, yeah, I think, I think by the time you, yeah, probably five inches. Yeah. Um, if you want to make it a little bit shorter, uh, like I say, two tanks. You let me know which which ones you want. If you want the SHP or if you want two of the standard blacks, uh, butt plate. I like this. Um, this looks cool too. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's I don't know. Uh, but but with this deal, you know, with this package, it's it's you know you, you can do it however you want. Two tanks. You can change it out. You're gonna have uh, four. <laughs> no, I'm embarrassed to say I can't. Really, what do they hold? Like eighteen? I can't remember. Um, so anyway, so four of the big mags and then one of the small mags, these are awesome. That if, if I had it to do over with again, I would only buy these. Um, those are awesome. And that's the, uh, G mag Grizzin. Oh yeah. Okay. So the Grizzin 10 round. Love that. Um, okay. So, you know, I already, I already discussed in the other, um, and this is, I'm sure some people, you know, obviously other than the person that's getting this is going to be interested just to watch it. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, da, da, da. I'm going to have you a mag full of 9.9 uh, gram riot balls. Um, not going to promise they're going to be, it probably won't be Canada riot balls, to be honest with you. It'll probably be like a generic 9.9 gram. Um, or maybe half and half or something, but anyway, anyway, I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna send you a mag, so it's a, truly a turnkey package. Um, of course, I, I won't be able to, I gotta, you know, take the air out of the tanks, uh, unfortunately. So, um, so this has the slate black, uh, slate, and that's the, the brand, not the color, but uh, slate black rail covers, those are actually pretty pricey little rail covers, but I love them, I think they look better than really any anything else let's, uh, let's come on over here and take a peek so there you go you can see see the purple i i did the purple in like that and then put the real covers on so that you just catch glimpses of it and stuff so it's not like in your face um so like black real covers um i put uh i put you know the, one of these cheap uh, real covers and cut it to fit on top and that just you know makes it a lot more comfortable i put it up under the sights everything so it's you know continues all the way even a little piece out here at the end um this is a uh, magpul uh padded sling it is adjustable uh the one end you know hooks into here and then i've got a um quick detach up there uh i recovered the grid dot so i'm thinking i'm thinking that's about it um so there you go if you have any questions uh shoot and for the guy that's uh the guy that's uh, gonna be taking it uh holler at me let me know uh which of these you want to do and actually whoa hold on i'm forgetting important stuff so I shot it uh, video earlier with the um, uh, standard with the standard tank. So um, I wanted to <laughs> really important. I'm kind of bummed that I almost forgot this. So I've got some uh, 9.9 .9 gram hybrid Canada right balls in here, and. Uh, we're just gonna do a little uh, little test on it. See what she hits. And I probably will not hit anything right now. Whoa! 326. Three eighteen. Okay. So 
326. Let's, uh, let's have a little over 49. Three twenty, three nineteen, three seventeen, three eighteen, three fifteen. All right, so um, so it's like uh, you know, four between what uh, forty, forty six and forty nine, forty seven and forty nine joules, um. And and I I do want to say uh, so when when this gun's hitting 52, that's with a 14 inch barrel. Um, so uh, I just want to make sure I don't mislead anybody on that. Um, on in the videos with it uh, when it's hitting that, it is a different barrel than this. So uh, you're you know losing like three joules. So uh, but you gain the ability here to either have a really uh close quarter combat set up or you know something that's got a little more power because now once you take the uh once you take the mock suppressor off and and do that you're actually you're gonna lose uh, uh some more feet per second so uh if you're i, I you know i mean it, it's up to you if you want the 14 inch barrel uh to to make it a you know full it out at 52 joules um I'm fine with that. Um, it would be, you know, just just that barrel uh, and not the uh, not the mock suppressor. So it would just have just the 14 inch barrel and this. Uh, and you know, you you can still you could still um, take this off, put the factory barrel on it. Of course, the factory barrel is not going to be near near as good as this as the Lapco rifle. Uh, but anyway, you could still do that and make a you know really short setup. And actually. If you see the video I did where I put a Tipex factory barrel in it, it's pretty mean looking. But, um, but anyway, so uh, I'll let you let me know on those things, and I think it's uh, I think it's one heck of a good reliable. I don't know why I'm not. <laughs> I'm sitting I'm sitting down here talking about things. Didn't realize I didn't have the camera like on it. So um, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, I was saying with this, you know, you can still take off half that. And, you know, uh, and have a, you know, CQB setup. It's not going to be as powerful as it would be like this if you do the 14. Uh, so anyway, uh, and what I mean, I, you would st you're st I'm still going to give you this if you want the 14 inch barrel. The only thing you wouldn't get is the mock suppressor. So, uh, so anyway, that's up to you. Both of them are six, eight threes. All right. Uh, there you go, guys. All right. Enjoy. I think it's going to make, uh, make somebody a, a really awesome home defense setup with uh, extra air, extra mags, nice sling, the whole nine yards, cover for the, cover for the scoop there, but anyway. All right. Bye. All right. Check this out. Sorry about the focus and everything. You see, you see the red dot in the scope? All right. Check this out. You see that? That's the laser co-witnessing I'm getting something in front of it. Anyway, you get the picture. <laughs> Where'd he go? All right. There. Oh, yeah. So he wants to yeah, move it over here. All right. But uh, see the red dot? Where'd he go? See? Perfect co -witness. So it's a triple co-witness. You got three, three sets of sights all lined up. So can't beat that with a stick.